Okay, Scorpio, got the coffee maker in the background. Two cups in the reverse falling out, coming out of relationships. Staying tried and true to that, not necessarily wanting to revert back or go to the past. Four of Wands in reverse, more falling out energy. The Devil card in reverse, um, leaving those toxicities behind. They were throwing you off of your divine timing. I say your divine timing specifically because it is a self-subscribed uh, timeline and that timeline exists when you choose you and your efforts and your endeavors and your money and your uh, what you can generate or produce when you choose that first and foremost over relationships that this is the season to do that um, so as to uh, eventually down the line be able to enjoy um, you know but time is of the essence uh, here and now is what I'm getting uh, uh, Scorpio, and uh, it's no longer time for you to kind of put off uh, your obligations, and especially in the midst of you kind of realizing and coming to an enlightenment of how to kind of self-generate and what value and worth and, and the fact that you actually have something to offer. Uh, and there's meaning and purpose and reason behind that here. Uh, you are climbing to a status of stability that where there is no kind of going back here, which is great, and, and it's been an uh, effort. You know, the hair font in reverse here, carving your own path. Um, staying tried and true to the refining of your skills. I use the word mining a lot because it's a good uh, kind of um, identifier or interpretation of the time and the toiling uh, needed, which, you know, you can't buy experience, is what the Eight of Pentacles is uh, telling us and showing us here. Um, you are definitely working towards something. You have a vision that you're working towards, Scorpio. Certainly, you're kind of going back to the well of spirituality, that which fills you up, that's, that which is being communicated to you from uh, above to below um, to help kind of continue to create your own personal heaven on earth here is what I'm getting with the sun card in the upright queen of swords in the reverse something being on the chopping block something maybe getting under your skin or throwing you off of your game or having you at what's end you're going to be able to uh, wrap up that cycle here and graduate to a, a higher uh, amount of uh, understanding and come out victorious here with the six of wands in the upright public acknowledgement something of this nature um, the world is definitely looking and watching and seeing what you're producing, but they're seeing it to an extent that you're kind of intrinsically doing something for the worth that you could self-generate. You're not doing it based off of uh, accolades. And uh, again, we spoke a lot to being able to kind of self-subsist self and uh, utilizing yourself as your own fuel source, like transitioning from gas to electric, which is very kind of unprecedented. Is what I'm getting, Scorpio. If you're resonating with this and or cross watcher, feel free to apply this through the lens of the, um, I believe it's eighth house, Scorpio. Anything else spare? Anything else spare for Scorpio? Certainly there will be conflict. Certainly there will be competition. But again, I'm seeing that you're coming out as victorious here. Okay. In the month of March. Definitely putting the kibosh on being breadcrumbed or not being given your fair due. Some emotional solace is being offered here, which is great because it's just the cherry on top. Like I said, it's not anything that you've needed to subsist or continue to, to create your own work here. Um, let me see. Is there anything else? Trying to remain as objective as possible when you are communicating something. Being straight to the point here. Is there anything else, Spirit?
Okay, freeing yourself from a certain amount of stagnancy here in the month of March. No longer choosing to cycle through this kind of poverty consciousness with the five of pentacles in the upright. And I think a lot of that poverty consciousness is, like I said, these people haven't kind of turned the light bulb in uh, themselves on. They haven't understood wealth and value is not an external thing. It's an internal thing. What are they working on? What are they contributing to? What have they let sidetrack and get in the way of them fulfilling what it is that they could be working on or adding value to? A skill, a craft, an artistry, something of this nature, Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's that thing for them that they're meant to do uh, to work on? And what story have they convinced themselves of so as to not be able to do otherwise? That's kind of what I'm getting. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Onward to, after Scorpio, we have um, Sagittarius. I'll have you both for more. Peace.